the next calibration that needs to be done is your moisture value. Best practice there is once we're going through the field and we're fairly stable and moisture's not jumping around, note what the value is there and then about two seconds later, grab a sample off of the moisture slide and then run that through a good moisture tester. Whatever the difference between the value noted and the moisture tester, we'll come into setup, we'll come into systems, and we will come into your moisture gain and whatever the difference was, if it's a negative value, you'll come in and put in a, a negative one. Say if the monitor read 16, but the moisture tester read 15, you'd put in a negative one, enter and save that. And we'd want to go in, once that's applied, come back into equipment and come into your save and load, update the head. and update the combine and then that value will be saved to the config.